Hi, the last video got cut off just before the end, so uh, welcome to How BC Works Video 3, The Stunning Conclusion. Um, we're just going to go back to our case study on Hebrew now. Um, and remember, um, we looked at this crazy scaling that happens in Hebrew where, for instance, a 25 actually becomes a 40 after scaling. And you might think, that's crazy, how can they want us to do Hebrew so badly? And we've seen that that's not actually the case now. Um, but still, how could it be that the, the scaling could be worth 15 in this case? Well, there's, um, there's two culprits, but the main one is that, as we've seen, a 25 in Hebrew, getting a 25 in Hebrew really is just equivalent to getting a 40 in any other subject. Or maybe more like getting a 37 or something, for reasons we'll see in a moment. But it really is true that not that many students around the state do Hebrew. And those that do, tend to do really well across all of their other subjects. In fact, there's only a few schools in the state that offer Hebrew, and they're all actually among the highest performing schools in the state. So it's no wonder that students who get a 25 in Hebrew get a 40 in other subjects, because they're actually really high performing students. Um, and scaling makes sure that they get the grade that they actually deserve. So average student who gets 25 in Hebrew, they get a 40 in other subjects, so they get a 40 after scaling. Mazel tov. Now, on that previous slide, I said maybe it's actually more like a 37. That's because there is a small bonus just for doing loads. And that's just government policy. They do actually want more students to be taking languages other than English. Um, and what that means is you often hear it's sort of a 10% bonus or a, um, or a five point bonus. It's a little bit more complicated than that. But the basic idea is that the starting score for LOAT is, in, is 35 instead of 30. And then all that same process happens with all the scaling and all the comparing of different subjects to different other subjects. But we start from a higher baseline, so the scores end up a little bit higher. And so for a student who would have got a 30, they'll probably end up getting a 35. For a student who would have got a 45 though, it probably only ends up being about a 47. It tends to tail away at the top end. Um, and similarly at the bottom end. So yes, you can think of it as sort of a, a five point bonus if you like in loose terms, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. But yes, there really is a bonus for doing loads. So if you're pretty good at load in year 10 and, or year 11 and you're thinking of going on with it, and it, could, it can be worthwhile. But that said, it's not really enough if, to overcome if you just really don't like loads. So the moral of the story here is there really is no way to drive an advantage just from subject selection. So, well, except for doing a lot. So you really might as well take that lovely teacher's advice who tells you, just do what you enjoy, just do what you're good at. They're actually not just trying to be nice. They're giving you the best possible advice you can get. And remember that, like Gwyneth Paltrow in Sliding Doors, that whatever choices you make, whatever path you go down, you'll probably end up in just the same place.